So here's where we are for the moment. We've done our rough cuts here just to kind of get the bulk off of it. So we'll probably have one, one or two pieces here once it starts to get finalized. This is probably going to be just one piece here. It looks like it's going to be a nice plate. And then our larger one. Not quite sure yet where we're going to go with this one. Going to give it a little bit of time to think about it. You can see some of the phantoms there starting to show through a little bit better with a little bit more clarity and definition. So, like I said, not quite sure yet. We're going to want to get rid of some of this damaged area down here. We might get like a piece out of the side here on the right side of the uh, piece. And then on the left side, take one or two there with a little bit of architecture and topography showing up. So, we'll see what happens. We'll get back. And we're going to go ahead and take the middle piece out of the sea body Okarusu that we're following here throughout its production life to become a specimen. So we're going to go ahead and try to pre-shape this one, or at least thin it down a little bit and start to get our shape that we think might be looking representative for a collector. some of our pre-shaping. Start to get our outlines. Get some nice phantoms showing up. So from there, when we go inside, we'll start to get her finished out and do the actual final shaping around the edges. So until next time, this is Mark Abasso with MineRatMinerals.com. Hi everybody. This is Mark Abasso again with MindRatMinerals.com and here's a little bit different style out of the sea body. If you've been following us, you've watched the other piece, larger, larger piece that we've been following is this one. There's so much a little bit different style to them. So we're going to go ahead and pre-trim one of these and see what it looks like. 